So today we're going to be talking about transcription and translation. So here's the DNA sequence we're going to be transcribing and translating. But first we're going to flip our coding screen around so that it reads 5 prime to 3 prime from the left to the right so that we don't have to code it by reading it backwards. So here that is flipped around. And then here's our mRNA sequence. So if you're wondering why there's cheeseburgers everywhere, that's because we're going to be comparing ingredients of a cheeseburger to how amino acids code for proteins. So we have our coding strand, our mRNA sequence, and then we have our amino acid sequence we get from this, which produces a functional protein. And then down here you see that I have the corresponding cheeseburger ingredients for these amino acids. So in a missense mutation, this is when we have an initial um, amino acid that then gets mutated into a different amino acid. So in this case, it was valine, uh, which is now alanine. And this gives us a veggie burger instead of a hamburger. So missense mutations could potentially be functional. But technically, if you didn't want to eat this cheeseburger because you didn't like veggie burgers, you didn't have to. So that would be non-functional. But technically, this is still edible, so you could eat it. This would be a transition mutation because thymine mutates to a, a cytosine, which are both pyrimidines. In our nonsense mutation, you see that initially we had a lysine amino acid here but that now codes for a stop codon. So this is going to produce either a non-functional protein or a shorter protein. So as you see, this would give us an extra uh, top bun instead of our tomato here in our cheeseburger. So technically you could eat this um, if you took off this top bun and just ate it without the tomato. You could eat it like that. Or maybe you don't want to eat it like that. So then it would be non-functional because you can't eat it with two top buns. This would be a transversion mutation because the added Adenine mutates to a thymine, which is appearing to pyrimidine. A silent mutation uh, would be when there is no change seen because it's a different codon that codes for the same amino acid, therefore giving us the same protein. This would be a transition mutation because cytosine mutates to thymine and they're both pyrimidines. In our read through mutation, you see that initially right here we had a a uh, stop codon that now codes for an amino acid. So this uh, sequence just goes on and on and on, and there's no stop codon to tell it to stop translating. So our cheeseburger could just keep adding toppings and adding toppings and adding toppings. So this would be a transversion mutation because once again, it's uh, mutating from adenine to cytosine, which is appearing to pyrimidine. So here we go, and we see that a missense mutation replaces the initial amino acid with different amino acid. It may have no effect or it may be non-functional. The nonsense mutation changes the initial amino acid to a stop codon and stops protein translation early. A uh, non-functional or shorter protein is produced. In a silent mutation, it changes the base pair, but it still codes with the same amino acid, so we see no change in our cheeseburger from the original one. And then a read-through means that we could just keep adding and adding toppings, but in the end, the mutation changes the stop codon to a codon coding for an amino acid. This causes transcription to continue past the stopping point. Thank you for watching.